Topic number one, the top college football jobs as ranked by Athlon. Here is my criteria for the, the keys to being a good college football job. We're going to start with number three. You got to make sure that your admission standards are not too strict. That's, that's a big part of this, right? You got to make sure kids can actually get into school. Number two, you got to have regional talent. And then number one, administrative and booster support. And that leads to things such as uh, uh, not faculty, uh, facilities. Uh, you're, if you can make sure that the administration is behind you, that they understand that football can be the front porch of a university. That is the most visible thing that anybody will ever see when it comes to your school. You can use that to build a great academic school. It's pretty cut and dry. So, again, three keys to a good college football job. Not too strict admission standards. Number two, regional talent. Number one, administrative and booster support. This was my top ten. Okay, Number ten, LSU. You know there's a ton of talent. Uh, so long as the new AD does great, then they should be okay. They've got booster support. Uh, the administration understands how important football is. Number nine, Texas. They have had some serious problems with boosters being uh, too involved, too many cooks in the kitchen. They haven't hired a good AD in a while. We'll see if they can get things straightened out. Tom Herman might be the, the strong enough guy to go in and set the ground rules on that. Number eight, I've got Florida. They are just now getting to the point where their facilities are being upgraded to a point that they can compete with everybody else in the SEC. Obviously, they have talent surrounding them everywhere. We'll see how things go with Dan Mullen, whether or not uh, that continues at the pace that it was uh, in the mid-2000s. Oklahoma, number seven. Number six, Michigan. Number five, Clemson. Uh, Clemson has jumped way, way up this list. Their administration stuck by Dabo Sweeney through some rough years. He has come out on the other side. They look like geniuses right now. Uh, so Clemson, five. Number four, Texas A&M. They're putting everything they've got into building a good, great football program. Number three, Alabama. Number two, Ohio State. Number one, Georgia. Uh, the reason that I have those ranked where they are, regional talent, administrative support, not too strict admission standards, uh, all of it's perfect, right? These are all great universities. They, they have the ability to build great uh, programs. And obviously, there are a ton of other schools out there that would like to consider themselves a top 10 job. These are the current top 10 jobs. Texas, you got to put them in the top 10 just because of regional talent and how much everybody loves Texas football in the state of Texas. So when you've got that much support, you've got that many people that are, that are in with you, you're making that much money just hand over fist at all times. That's how this goes. So... Here is what Athlon ranked theirs, and we're just going to go uh, top 20 jobs for them. Number 20, they've got UCLA. Uh, number 19, Nebraska. Number 18, Oregon. Number 17, Washington. Number 16, Tennessee. Number 15, Auburn. Number 14, Penn State. Number 13, Notre Dame. They've got Texas A&M, number 12. Um, I thought that was a little bit low. They've got Michigan, 11. Uh, again, I've got Michigan at number six, and I've got A and M at four. They had LSU ten, which is exactly where I had them. They've got Florida State number nine. Okay, you know I, I get it. You can win national championships there. There are a lot of built-in advantages to the school's location, but there are difficulties there. So I, I'm not sure that they should be a top ten job here. They've got Oklahoma at eight. I've got Oklahoma at seven. They've got Clemson at 7. I've got Clemson 5. They've got USC at 6. I think there are way too many problems administratively and with boosters, etc. at USC. So I do not have them in the top 10. Uh, number 5, they've got Florida. I've got Florida at number 8 on mine. They've got Texas 4. Again, administrative issues. Everybody's kind of on different pages right now, and they have been for years that's why Charlie Strong was not able to get things done there. It's why Tom Herman has had uh, some problems in his first couple of seasons. Uh, number three, they've got a, uh, Ohio State. Number two, they've got Alabama. Number one, they got Georgia. So it, I've got the same top three. But, eh, 
I, I, I love Alabama, but having them as number two right now, I, yes, administratively, second to none. Booster support, second to none. Uh, regional talent, that's where things get a little tricky. Ohio State, probably the best school in the Big Ten. They've got their pick of the talent in the Northeast. Alabama, eh, maybe a little difficulty fighting with Georgia. Not as much talent in state. You know, it, it is what it is. So the way that I've got it is the top three. I've got Georgia, Ohio State, Alabama. They've got Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State. Is what it is. 